everybody, J-Bo here. Today we're going to be shooting a Kenick Mete MC9. Uh, this is a used firearm, but it's in good shape. It's a little stubby short barrel. And we have the different options that comes with it. Two magazines. One is a 15, one is a 12, and varying depending on which base you want to put on there for the extension. It does come with a regular flat. It doesn't have the pinky extension if you're one of those people with child hands. <laughs> and um, so we're going to do the 12 round. I'm up close and um, first thing I want to mention is we're shooting Magtech 115 grain uh, basic target ammunition and it has been very inconsistent depending in all firearms used so shouldn't be too bad up close like this but we'll we'll give her a go anyway good shooter And if you were in a self-defense situation, this is probably about the distance you would be, or less. Very, very good pistol. As we've gotten to find out from the Canic series, they are all very good. So now we're going to do the 15 round. And it does have the round, uh, it's cocked right here, that has the indicator, which um, I like on my other Canic as well. No safety except for the blade trigger safety. Very comfortable, you know, a lot of times these feel like, like you just saw two of those shots miss. And typically it sounds like somebody making excuses, but to be honest with you, this ammo has been doing that. You'll have like four right on the money, two off, one right on the money, and it they all felt like really good trigger pulls and perfect aims. So it's the ammo and not the pistol, and it's not me. So most of them are right on. But like that one should have been right on the money. I don't know why it does that. Terrible ammo.